What's going on everybody? This is Doug Knacker from Hissy Fit Reptiles. We're going to jump right into it today. This is the Tinley Park interview episode. Where you're going to be seeing the showcase stuff from JSA Reptiles, Steve's Morphs, Zach Schrader Reptiles, Brad Bow Reptiles, and a little bit from Canova as well. You're going to be seeing the special Pompeii from JSA Reptiles, the Zebra Gene, the Bang Gene, Tri-Stripe stuff, some Desert Ghost combos, the Sunset Pied, Lace combos, Confusion Acid combos, and so, so much more. So do not miss this episode, and be sure you hit that like button, and hit the subscribe and notification bells to be notified of future videos. These are Reptiles Remixed. Steve from Steve's Morphs. How are you doing today, Steve? I'm doing good, man. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, pretty good. You got some pretty awesome stuff here, um, especially the zebra stuff. That's kind of uh, one of the things that not a lot of people will see in a lot of people's questions right now. So um, if you wouldn't mind sharing a little sure. bit on the zebra gene and maybe like talking about it a little bit. I'll show you the most extreme one right here. This is a pastel orange dream yellow belly zebra. Okay. Yep. Zebra is a recessive. It's a new recessive. Um, really does work with pastel super well. Um, that's why pastel is in a lot of the stuff. Sure. But it does give it a really nice, you know, vibrant color from the orange room and the yellow belly in there, and that nice banding to it. Yeah, the banding is like yep. really awesome with that blushing in the banding, right? So it's, um, pastel, it, it works super well with it. I'll tell you, we even got a pastel Russo okay. zebra here, still holding on to that same pattern. Kind of breaks it up a little bit in between, still sure. nice and banded. Very nice. We'll do, show you a couple of hypos. This one is gorgeous. So. This pastel hi uh, zebra hypo. Nothing else in it. Could almost be called tiger. Sure. Yeah, very, very cool. Isn't that? So again, that's, that's pastel besides having hypo in it. And then the zebra. The zebra. And that is it. Um, yeah, that's Re really sharp looking. We got some straight pastels. I mean, pastel something works really well. Pastel, pastel is really cool. cool. And then, if you want to see, too, if everybody here are watching this right now, you know, you know what a pastavi looks like. You know, this is that with zebra. That's like literally it, right? Being a little shy. <laughs> we'll get you out there. But definitely so very really, busy. Really wax it out a lot. It's yeah. Really, very cool. Um, the Mojave version by itself is pretty cool but pastel really brings it out. Sure. Still getting that zipper kind of pattern kind of going down the back. Okay, yeah. So then the pastel really, that works with the blushing a lot more with like basically. Absolutely. So like without pastel, you're still gonna have a really cool looking animal, but the yeah. blushing might not be quite as intense as with pa without pastel, right? Another, another pastel hypo, zebra. So you can see how much so, they, how so well they age. So they age better. They you do. Know, like kind of like how Desert Goes gets better exactly. with age. Yep. Zebra Absolutely. kind of gets better with age as well. Um, let me see. This is just a head up here on top. This is an orange green yellow belly head, but it really does influence when you start mixing it with other jeans. So you can see the banding and some of the pattern really change. Okay. This guy out. We made double heads for pretty much everything under the sun right about now, from right. uh, TSK Exantic to Desert Ghost, Ultramel, uh, Hypo. Uh, what else are we working with? A couple other ones right now. Trying to get, yeah. Just trying to get everything in because it's so new and we don't really have anything with these stuff. We yeah. made clown, yeah. Um, double heads for clown and a couple other stuff, but. Um, Really, I mean, really, really neat gene. Really new and something different from everything else that's out there. Definitely. It's not earth shattering, it's not a monsoon, but it's still really cool. It's still, yeah, it still adds an extra element right. to the ball python game that we, Absolutely. you know, it was like, well, you know, this is uh, different enough from everything yep. else where it's pretty cool, right? Another tool in our toolbox. Definitely, definitely. Other than that, you guys have yeah. obviously a lot of cool desert ghost stuff as well. Um, we got and some Ultramel, really Ultramel cool. Ultramel acid. Uh, yeah. Ultramel acid. So the acid really looks like it interacts pretty well with the Ultramel then. It does. Well, this has got Mojave also. That one's got Mojave, okay. So. Yeah, it's it's not the nicest, yeah. but it's pretty. See? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> get that? You no, know, people are going to love that one, right? <laughs> yeah, people, people, people are going to look at that one. That, one's a that one eats one. really well. <laughs> we got a bunch of yeah, yeah, ghost cows. I like the ones that eat well like that, right? <laughs> we were really super lucky and blessed with this one this year. I mean, we made so many Desert Ghost Clowns. We really we yeah. really worked hard on this project. I yeah. uh, love the head stamp on this guy. That is a very nice. It's really cool how it fades out and, yep. then, and then catches up. On I mean, a lot of them don't have a lot of that. I mean, but this one had a really cool head stamp yeah. to it. Uh, yeah. What else we got up here? We got some hot stuff also. Uh, we got so some more DG 
you coming down here, then you kind of get like the pewter, like a you know, like a yeah. pewter desert ghost, just a yeah. London glass stuff, just a, a pure DJ, and everybody's making a mess. And it's so just getting it, it's getting brighter as it gets older. Right, right. So yeah, pewter is, or the DG with that pewter really like enhances oh, it. Absolutely. You know, pewters as they get older use it by themselves, they really dirty out, you know. It's yeah. Just like, it's, the Desert Ghost just cleaned it. This is just a straight hypo DG. Yeah. Super clean. Nice and bright, just shed. Hypo is one of those jeans where I'm glad Hypo is kind of coming back because for yeah. a little while people were just kind of like, ah, Hypo is one of those jeans where they didn't really yeah, care about. Yeah, th there's, there's you know, a lot of people like that. This one got a bad show. Uh, what else we got out here? I'll show you, oh, I'll show you a couple other ones that are kind of cool. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but these are these are Huffman Pies. Okay. These are actually pretty much copper color. The colors on these things are actually just super, super bright, like burnt orange kind of copper. Yeah. That's really cool. beautiful. Just, just Huffman and Pie. Oh yeah, and you know, how much one of those jeans where it's been around for a while too, it's, right? Yeah, it's a sleeper. I mean, it, it's and working it's, well with a lot of cool stuff. We're putting it into clown now with some blackhead stuff and sure. a few other things. Try working it in there because you find those right combination of jeans and stuff, and it might be something you totally unex you know, unex yep. unexpected and stuff, and like, boom, there it is, you know? Mm -hmm. Very cool. What else we got here? Uh, I made a really nice job. Confusion Fire Orange Dream is really nice and bright. Okay, yeah. No, not yet. I'm going to bring my. Cool. And now, Confusion and like Acid. Confusion and Acid. And yep, kind of like, a lot you know, of those. Uh -oh. so, I, I believe they're all about the same. So I think it's maybe slight differences yeah. in those kind of things. So. Some dry stripe stuff. It's kind of cool. This is, a, this is a Huffman Blackhead Mojave Hypo. Okay. That's actually a, so I don't know if the camera is able to pick it up very well, but the, the side is really uh, mm -hmm. that coloration on the side is actually pretty unique. It's like yep. it's like I don't want to say it's blushing because it's actually the whole thing besides the um, uh, besides the you know, little heads mm -hmm. are coming through. But yeah, very cool, very nice coloration on that. A blackhead GHI yellow bone. Pretty nice. Yeah. Wish it was like that for clown or something, but right. you know, maybe next year. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Um, very nice stuff here, Steve. And then, um, so now if people are uh, wanting to, you know, check you out besides with the shows and stuff like that, uh, you get more market and all that good stuff, right? You get more market for Steve's more. Should go uh, Facebook, Instagram. You can go to Steve'smore's.com. It'll bring you to my link tree, and it'll have all my links on there. Also, sounds good. Well, you got some awesome stuff here, Steve. Uh, thank you. Excited to see the future of the Zebra Project for sure and all that kind of stuff. So, so be sure to check out Steve on. Uh, social media, check out his animals for sale up on North Market, and uh, thanks again for your time, Steve. All right, thank you. All right, I'm here with Zach from Zach Trader Reptiles, and um, over here at the Tinley Park Show here in October. How's it going today, Zach? Going good, man. It's been a great show so far. All right, you got some pretty sweet stuff on your table here, uh, some tri-stripe stuff, some bang stuff. Uh, mind sharing with us what you got kind of going on, um, maybe like with uh, maybe start with some of that tri-stripe stuff. That sure, of it. course. So these are uh, these are a couple of most exciting animals that I produced last year. Uh, this one here being a GHI Fire Tri-Stripe. Very nice. So the awesome thing about this is obviously the, the pixelation all down the sides, right? I mean, yeah. it adds a lot of, you, you still got the stripe from the tri-stripe, but it adds a whole whole other dimension to the animal. Yeah, so. something you don't really think about when you think of fire and, uh, and GHI exactly. like that together. It's, it's really yeah, cool. especially, you know, when you're looking at a normal nice. fire where there is no side pattern whatsoever. So I think the GHI is going to add a lot to the tri-stripe. I think it's got a lot of a lot of potential, and, and it should be fun mixing and matching with some other codoms. Very cool. So there's that guy. This one's also a lot of people like this one. So this is this is the GHI Mojave. Okay. Tri stripe. So you get the stripe, but then the Mojave kind of sucks out the sucks out the side pattern, right? Sure. So so you lose that pixelation. So I think obviously part of it's going to be plugging and playing where you you know what code arms to match up and, and which ones to sync together. But yeah. uh, definitely the the GHI is going to be a big one for us moving forward. Definitely, yeah. So GHI is really interacting with the tri stripe in a unique way, kind of compared to like right. some other. Right. It's that. nice that it's leaving the stripe, but it's it's messing with you know a different component of the snake. So yeah. So yeah, there's that one. 
Here's another show show favorite. This is the Pastel Desert Ghost Tri-Stripe. Right. It's, you know, Pastel Desert Ghosts are awesome on their own, but you add that Tri-Stripe element to it. Right. Really and, like and I mean, the, you know, the real blush outdoor. It so tastes it's, like it's, the it's eraser beautiful. through the whole thing. Almost looks like you took an eraser and just like took off some of that. <laughs> yeah. It's so gorgeous. Awesome. And, and then, the, you know, just the super, super clean side patterns, you know, um, really, really a beautiful animal. Yep. Very, very nice. Awesome. We'll shift gears to the bang. Then here's the bang, yeah. Cool. So we'll start, let's start with a single gene. Okay. I'll just bring it over here. So this is a single gene bang. These uh, these were all acquired from Sterling Nelson. Okay. So I didn't produce, I haven't produced any bangs yet. Okay. Um, but this is a single gene. A lot of people say it's similar to Orange Dream, but it's very different. I mean, you can yeah. see the see the head pattern on it. Uh, yep. The Orange Dream generally has a circle. This one's kind of got horns that go all the way to the back of the head, and then they kind of wrap around down to the neck. Okay. Um, but obviously very bright, beautiful, beautiful animal. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and the then, contrast and the blushing are really like, uh, well, I think a lot different actually than the orange cream for sure. Yeah. There, so. Yeah, a lot, I mean, a lot of people have, have shown interest in, there's just not many of them around, right? So right. I know Sterling's worked on uh, like with Cypress and um, he's tied in a couple other codoms and he's working some recessive stuff. But yeah, there's some, some stuff that works really nice. I mean, that head is just, is, is super cool. Yeah, and then, it's cool, yeah. And then you'll see too, like with this, so this is just the, this is the single gene bang pied. Same idea with the head, yep. right? With the blushing, comes back down around the mouth there. But I'm looking at how bright that animal is. I mean, that's yeah. that's just a single gene. That's with nothing else added. Right, that is very, very nice. So start start building on that and, and I think it's it's gonna, it has a bright future. Okay, now the bang itself, that's uh, the codomer and complete dominant, right? Correct. Right. So, yep. so, that, so there's a super form of that. Um, there is. And I know Gavin from Balls to You, he's been working with the bang, you, you know. Yep. Um, obviously not here in the States, but he's got some really cool stuff. He's got some super bang stuff, so definitely check out uh, both Sterling and uh, and Gavin from Balls to You if you're if you're into the project or you're looking for some updates, they've got some great stuff. Very cool, very cool. So and then one other bang animal just I can show you for for reference um, and gives you an idea kind of on the cleanliness because that's that's the nicest thing about this is as they grow up they they don't tend to blush out right, or brown out. So sure. Here's a pastel yellow belly bang. Um, very it, cool. Yeah, you can tell on the sides. I mean, she's just she's beautiful. Yeah, that is really nice and clean there. Yeah. So lose a little bit of that on the head, obviously with the yeah. you know. Other other genes at, at play, but um, really nice, bright, beautiful. So for it to not not brown as much, you know, like barely at all. Actually, you're getting a little bit of speckling on the very top of the dorsal, but other than that, you're really the sides are still very clean, right? Yeah. So that's really awesome. Yeah. So definitely an exciting project. Just just kind of getting some legs. I know there's there's only so many that are being produced, and so many that uh, so many people that are working with it. So once we start seeing more things, it'll be. Uh, Fun to add more more components and more genes and keep working it. Very cool, very cool. And then over here you got some uh, it's like late. You got she yeah. had some late stuff. Yeah. You got some DG is yeah. ethics as well. Yeah, a variety really cool. of uh, variety of clown stuff over here. These guys are all pretty cool. Um, a couple nice desert ghost clowns. Yeah. Yeah, the crown jewels of the ball python world right now, you know, the DG clowns got, can't go wrong yeah. with them because the clowns are still so awesome and, and DG, you know, so yeah. very nice. Uh, about 10. Yeah. So, very cool, very yeah, nice. So the dad was a vanilla hat that I actually got from Will okay. um, Moros over at RCR, so um, I don't know. The you know, I'm going to give him a couple sheds and let him grow up a little bit and see. Um, but yeah, there's potentially some vanilla at play. There's one other one from the clutch that I did not bring. Okay. Um, and then here's, these guys are really cool too. So yeah. Some recent hatches. These are the lace clowns. And the lace clowns have been kind of picking up steam lately, right? Yeah. People have been kind of talking about lace and, and getting them into the clowns and yeah, stuff like Seth that. Seth so over at DD I know is working it, and obviously Justin's got, you know, working on it. But I mean, the head is, is super clean, real yeah. beautiful. The side patterns are just, I mean, you know, outstanding. Yeah. How, how bright white. You know, yeah. I mean, they're they're just really, really. Um, again, a lot of stuff to do with it, right? Right. Building blocks. So yeah, very nice, like the heads, like you said too, like they're just kind of. Nice yeah, they're beautiful. Heads, you know. Like yeah, I mean, that's 
That's a, such a cool, very nice. cool head. So. How you doing back there, Rock? And then uh, one last one here. It kind of struck gold with this guy, but he's uh, he's actually in shed right now. So in, yeah, and in shed, this is how awesome the snake still looks in shed, even right. So like, imagine what it looks like not in shed. So yeah, with uh, exanthic desert ghost pinstripe, right? So an exanthic desert ghost pinstripe. The biggest thing is he's heck clown. And so clown. okay. So that's yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's a that's a big a big component there. So really excited to have hatched this guy out. Kind of a long shot odds. It was a clown double hat yep. to a lemon blast double hat. Okay. So, so got lucky with this boy, but that is I awesome. wish you would have shed out for the. For the yeah, sure. well, yeah, we'll have to do another video, but yeah, I mean, you can just tell the the dorsal and stuff. He's he's a beautiful, beautiful dude. Very nice. Even like the head, like the head was like you know just compared to like a. It almost looks like hypo, right? Yeah, very, it's so nice. It's kind of transparent. So very cool, very cool. Awesome. Got some awesome stuff here. Um, if you, um, you guys want to. Go check out Zach Schrader Reptiles on um, like Morph Market and social media and stuff. That's the best way to probably get a hold of you for all that stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing some updating on Morph Market, so we'll get that up and running. Instagram, um, definitely follow me, Zach Schrader Reptiles on Instagram. Um, definitely going to push the social media, try to get more of this stuff out to you guys, but uh, appreciate that. Man. Yeah, so sounds good. And, and everybody watching here, uh, links below. So if you want to get a hold of Zach um, you know, or, or check him out on Instagram, Morph Market, all that stuff, links will be below. So thanks again for your time, Zach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. it. Yep, take care. Hi, right, over here with Kevin for Brad Bowler Reptiles. How's it going today, Kevin? What's going on, guys? How are you, how are you guys doing? Good, good, good. So we got you here at Tin Leap here, October show. Uh, mind showing us what you uh, kind of have featured here at the sure. show? Yeah, definitely. I think the star of our table is the Sunset Pie, and I'll take him out for you. But uh, yeah, this guy turned out pretty cool. We have a couple more shots of making this combo this year, but it's so, you know, double recesses, it's so hard hitting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this thing's good. It's so like bronzy, and then it's got that real like real rich orange. Yeah, you know, really like cool. the jagged pattern right there. Once you get desert ghosts into that, right? Holy yes. man, it's gonna be like uh, oh, yeah. eye popping. I mean, it's already eye popping, but like you know. <laughs> I would like to see the Ultramel Pied Sunset. I think that's gonna be nice. Yeah, Ultramel Pied. There, there's really so cool. many directions to take it. So. Yep. Or like that lavender on vinyl that you got it into the other one. Oh yeah. If yep. you guys haven't seen it, he'll give you the info at the end of the video here, like how to check out that stuff on his in, on Instagram and all that good stuff. But yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, look at that right. sweet. Yeah, I'll put him pie. away. And then uh, actually the next thing I'm going to show you here is a, uh, it's a project we work on, not too many people work with it, but it's the Bongo Hypo Clown Project. Alright. And this one, it's a Bongo Hypo Russo Clown. Alright. And this guy, dude, he glow or she glows, I yeah, should say. Yeah, yeah. Not sure. It's super the bright. Was, but man, it is really yeah, intense in oh, person, yeah. for sure. You know, yeah. Russo is really another gene that like, a lot of people really don't work with it's a lot. Under, yeah, oh, it's yeah. kind of under, under It's been around though. forever, but. Yep. There is some pretty sweet Russo yeah. combos out there. Yeah. yeah, I would say in the future I would like to take a uh, like Desert Ghost to this. Yeah. So like definitely. the Desert Ghost hypo, I they glow. They're insane. Yeah, kind definitely. definitely. Right <laughs> but uh, alrighty. What else do you want to look at? Oh, uh, yeah, some uh, hurricane stuff here too. Huh? Like oh, yeah. hurricane clown stuff. Yep, yeah. So hurricanes, another one. I mean, a lot of people have been starting to work with the hurricane gene, right? And, oh, uh, yeah. And we the, love and the Wookie hurricane. stuff and everything. Yeah. Uh, Wookie's another one that, like, man, I wanted to get into that like a while ago. And oh yeah. Um, but yeah. It's... Yeah, most people think it's the same as chocolate, but I think it's been proven they're not. Sure. So I definitely see. I think Wookie is a lot cooler than chocolate, but you still need chocolate around. Right, right. Chocolate's. Um, it's cool in its own sense. Yep. So. Yeah, that is a hurricane gravel clown. Hurricane gravel clown. So man, that's pretty awesome. That hurricane really like enhances it. I think. Oh know, yeah. It throws in that yeah. patterning and really. And really two, we, we also have like it's like it's called a peach gene. Okay. Uh, it just it's kind of like a like a real it's like a yellow belly on steroids. Is the best way to say it. Okay. And it's kind of making things more. Just a brighter, I would say. Yeah, it, it runs through our, our hurricane stock. Sure, so. sure. A lot of craziness going on with the pattern. Oh, yeah. Like that, yeah. Yeah. We haven't isolated it, but it's definitely been making some cool hurricanes. Okay, spots. yep. But uh, what else can I show you here? Um, you see, I just kind of go through here a little bit. But yeah, otherwise, yeah. over on the other side, I think you guys had some uh, the acid stuff, right? You oh, yeah. Have... Actually, this one. I'll show you a couple one more here, too. Another fa favorite project of mine is the uh, the Sugar Clown project. Oh yeah. Not too many people are working with it. But, yeah, 
Yeah, this thing is insane. Yeah, sugar really messes with this, uh, that, that lower part of the patterning and stuff. Oh, right? yeah. The clown and yes. stuff. Yep. So cool. It's so really... this one is a disco or fire a sugar clown. All right. And then we got this one, which I don't know which one I like better. But this one is a spot nose sugar clown. Very cool. That head pattern's pretty badass too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, those girls are crazy. We brought them, we have a price tag on them, and if we don't get it, we're probably not going to sell them. <laughs> right, right. You don't, you don't mind holding something yeah. like this back if, if it ends up being that way. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah, I think cool. here's the one you wanted to see. The, uh, yeah, they got, yeah, they, yeah, the Confusion Clown. Confusion, yeah. One second. But yeah, the Leopard Confusion Clown combos are insane. But yeah, this is a pastel Leopard Confusion. Okay. And I know a lot of people aren't too hip on the pastel anymore, but... I think when you mix it with confusion, I, I like it a lot, actually. Yeah. I really do. No, that's it's, really, it's bright, yeah. Yeah, and it's it's a different color when you add that confusion in it than it's, it is if it's just like a pastel oh, clown or a pastel yeah, oh, yeah. clown, you know? So it, it's, it's, it's rich. It's, it's, yeah, 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 rich. That's a good, good way for it. So it's not really like that reddish color. No, you know, yeah. You know, whatever. It's like really... It doesn't dull out. It, it ages well. Yeah. Because we yeah. have adult pastel confusion stuff, and yep. they age well. Very cool, very cool. We got a lot of the acid, doesn't the pattern really, really like, just throws it all over the place, right? Yeah, for sure. Very cool. And then we'll go, uh, I'll do one more for you. All right. We got some uh, some Cypress Clowns some Cypress, right here. Yeah. This has been a big hit at the show, actually. So these are what we believe spot nose Cypress Clowns. Okay. And they're possible honey. Yeah, and honey's kind of a new one. I've heard of people sort of working it's with a, the honey. Yeah, it's a fire type animal. I know when you breed it together, you get a white snake, but it's different than a fire. Gotcha. So it's, I think it's in the, the Black Eye Lucy complex. Okay. Uh, really but yeah, the, the heads, dude, are yeah. super orange. You get that kind of a bald head, right? And it's oh, kind of yeah. Like a, but you get a little bit of a little bit of stuff kind of going on right down the snout kind of area. Yeah, for sure. And then that patterning is really wicked. Right? Oh, yeah. It's just like... This one, too. Very cool. So and that was um, spot nose cypress. Who you believe is spot nose cypress clowns, and then maybe honey. Is maybe honey. Yeah. Maybe honey. Okay. Yeah. I'm labeling those possible honey. So. Yep. If it turns out they have it, hey, you know, cool. Definitely, definitely. Yep. Awesome, really awesome stuff here. You got so much uh, cool stuff. A lot of a lot of awesome clown stuff, and um, just gonna give you guys a shot down here, and then. Um, I And if they want to get a hold of you to buy something, like, you know, besides being at a show and stuff like that, or see your stuff, what's the best way for them to see that? Uh, we're on Morph Market, and we do Instagram and Facebook. We're most active on Instagram. Actually, uh, our Facebook, we can't access the messages or anything, so we just share right from our Instagram to our Facebook. And, so yeah. message us on Instagram. So message them on yes. Instagram. Yeah. Otherwise, Morph Market, right? Check Morph Market, Check you guys yeah. on Morph Market stuff. All you do is check out Brad Bowl Reptiles, go on there, and then you'll be able to figure it out. And, and uh, Kevin will take care of you guys. Yes, sir. And thanks, Kevin. Appreciate your time. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. All right. I'm over here with Joe from JSA Reptiles, and uh, we uh, have some really cool stuff. He's got some really cool stuff to show you guys. So uh, what you got for the show today here, Joe? Yeah, we'll check out a, a pastel chocolate spot nose desert ghost hypo. Very nice. Everything Desert Ghost is awesome, and you throw in the extra stuff there. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it's crazy. Like that hypo gives it kind of that matte finish. Yep. You know, um, pretty powerful animal. Yeah, definitely. It was funny too because like um, chocolate's one of the genes like way a long time ago. I never thought it was like that great of a gene. Right. But um, you know, over the last like five, six years, like, there's been so much awesome stuff with chocolate. It's like. Yeah, the and the, the chocolate clown stuff is really good. Yeah. So actually, we uh, we'll take a look at a couple here. Um, so this one is a yellow belly chocolate clown. Don't give her any ideas. It's got kind of like a darker, almost like a paradoxing, like black marks. Sure. Hey, Chris, come here. Come here. Yeah. So it's, and even kind of like the odd head stamp. Yep. Yeah. The, cho cool. <laughs> the chocolate clown stuff is, is really fun. Um, this one here is uh, lesser chocolate leopard yellow belly. 
so smooth looking. It yep. looks like there's a very smooth contrast and everything. Yeah, and chocolate just kind of widens the stripes, gets them bolder. Obviously, the lesser takes a little bit of the color out, yep. but it's still a really cool snake. I think it's like gold, gold yeah. coloration. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, uh, it was just uh, announced over in the last week that you uh, made this really amazing animal, the <laughs> yes. special Pompeii. Uh, obviously, that's been like the major hit, one of the major hits of the show even. Yeah. Um, so if you don't mind showing that a little bit, that's yeah. a really cool one. Um, so this thing in person, like I know my camera's got it, I use this like 4K camera, but man, in person, it's just like, wow. Yeah, Very so nice. the pairing was black pastel, red stripe, spot nose clown to special yellow belly heck clown. And then they hit on the fall of it, right? Yep. Yep. So very, very cool. That special really like enhances it even more than what you think, you know, like Pompeii was amazing and then all of a sudden the special just really like takes it to another level. Yeah, it's crazy how it changed out of the egg. Just now it's kind of got that orange tint to it. Yeah. But just super like out of this, not a lot of other Combos that look like, I mean, there's no other combos right. that looks like it, honestly, but right. I mean, like, it's just insane how, you know, you just start, you just add that one extra gene to it, and it just yep. changes up that much, so, very nice. How do you know the odds of you hitting on that? <laughs> I don't, actually, I really need to look that up, I but should know that by heart, like by now. One in 128, or one in yeah, 256, it, or something. And, yep, and it is a male, too, so that was, you know, made it even more sweet. Yep, yep, yeah. so you take that male, like, sooner rather than later, you know, and right. wait for three years, like, uh, yep. you know, the other females and stuff, so very cool on that. And then you have some other stuff over here too as well, uh, like the xanthic pied stuff. Obviously, those yep. are always are pretty cool ones. Oh yeah, the xanthic pieds are always nice. They're, uh, it's hard to beat that silver and black with the white. Yeah. You know, this one's a little bit, a little bit different because it actually has more like circles on it. Sure, it's a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. she's a little fiery here. But. <laughs> is like a little bit more funky. That's almost like a really nice, like, um, I almost got like a couple of the Oakley symbols. In yeah, there, you know? yeah, it was really, the, the mom actually has these, so that was kind of cool. It, they kind of passed yep, on, huh? Yep. So, really cool. And then, of course, we get into like uh, the freeway stuff, which is always, you know, very cool stuff, you know, in general, freeway and. But the mahogany freeway down there. Mahogany is a very underrated gene too. I know people like some people aren't even working with it yet, and it's like there's so many cool things to do with mahogany, and you start going in with um, that. So very cool. So Don Joe, if people are trying to get a hold of you, or besides at the shows, obviously, uh, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you and then check out your stuff? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram. You know, basically just pull up JSA Reptiles, and you'll find us. And then Morph Market, of course. Right? Oh yeah, always Morph Market. Market. Yep. So it sounds good, and you guys will be the links below in this video as well. So you go ahead and check out all JSA Reptile stuff and. Uh, Thanks again, Joe, for your time. Bye. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, so, so many awesome ball pythons that we just got to see there. Some amazing stuff from some amazing breeders. Uh, I remember 
be sure to give those guys a big follow. Get the links down below from their morph markets, their social media, and all that kind of stuff. Big thanks to you guys who um, took the time out to let me showcase your guys' collections and uh, showcase your stuff at the Tinley Park Show. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and thank you very much to, again, everybody watching. If you'd like to support Hasty Favorite Reptiles, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of future videos. We are doing the, the, the Reptiles Remix podcast here on this channel as well. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a, a kind of a random thing whenever we do the podcast stuff, but we are going to have one um you know here and there kind of thing so so definitely check out the reptiles remix podcast here hit notification bell to be notified when we do those as well as other videos i'll be doing a collection update here very very soon just getting some stuff in place for that and um yeah i really appreciate you guys stuff again the breeders from this video links down below got my stuff my social media stuff down below as well my morph market stuff whatever i have available so thanks again for watching everybody i really appreciate your time until next time, these have been Reptiles Remixed.